I'm wanting a little nubbin on a fry. All right, start it. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here with another mukbang. I know you guys like my mukbangs with Kennedy. So today we are doing, as you can see, Shake Shack. We Shake have four Shack. burgers. We have- Well, that's not a burger. That's a chicken sandwich. It's chicken burger. Um, we have two normal cheeseburgers and then a mushroom burger and then the chicken burger. Can somebody please tell me what the hell is a chicken burger? They are good. We've had them once before at like midnight at an airport. So we drove we're 30 so minutes hungry. there and back to get this today. And their fries. We're starving. So I think- Try to eat slowly though. I can't. You have to try. That's the whole point of the video. I think that we should start with a bite. We don't normally eat unhealthy, I just want to say. Everything in moderation. So I want, to, I want this one. I'm just gonna go for a regular burger first. Oh my god, look at it. Look at that. So mm. delicious. Okay. Mm. It's good. Mm-hmm. Better than Chick-fil-A. Oh my god, I need to destroy this burger. So good. Oh, I don't know if it's better than Chick-fil-A. I think this is like my favorite burger ever. That's because she hasn't had in and out in and out is my favorite burger. Yeah, I haven't had in and out Wait, what's that? This is a regular burger. That's the mushroom burger. I'm gonna try the mushroom one. It's filled with cheese. Oh, really? Uh-huh. It's a mushroom filled with cheese. I'm scared it's gonna like burst out. Do you like it? The chicken one is really good, but it tastes way different than chick Like, They're not comparable. Mm, I don't love that. I don't really like care for a mushroom like that. Mmm. Too much of me. Mm -hmm. So let's get into today's story time. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so I did ask questions. I don't know like how many we're gonna answer because we always ask questions in our mukbangs and they're always the same. Yeah. Pause, I have to scratch my ear. <laughs> so let's just see what some of them are, if they're interesting. Avery, you said Avery. I agree. Emily said, how much would I have to pay for you both to kiss me? Asking for a friend. For you, it's free. Why did you lie about waiting until marriage? <laughs> I didn't lie, it was just a joke. Like I was being sarcastic and everybody took it seriously. I have a sense of humor, guys. <laughs> All right, let's just do, Kennedy had the idea of um, like talking about old stories when we got in trouble when we were younger. I have quite a few of those. Either that or scary stories. Well, I don't have many scary ones. I can definitely tell some stories about what I got in trouble for. Not easy. I can't, I was such a good girl. You got hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> Without mom knowing. <laughs> it was to get ice cream. And then told me. I already told that story on my channel though, so. Do you want me to start? Because I kind of want to eat. Okay, I'll go first. Hold on, let me take a bite of my burger first. Just don't drag it out. I'll try not to. So basically, when I was younger, I was probably in middle school or something. I was hanging out with a friend that I went to camp with. And we, I literally don't know how it got this far. But I think we like talked to this guy on the phone. And I think I was like rude to him. Maybe I said like, ew, like you're gross or something. I don't like you. We know how guys react to that, ladies. Yeah, so he got mad and decided to find my mother on Facebook. And send her a message that said, may I your daughter <laughs> so my mom got freaking pissed she like she, called me was like screaming freaking out what did i do whatever which is funny because now that's the norm she, like called my dad and my dad my dad surprisingly was like the chill one that was just kind of like what well, happened? happened at his house yeah it did it happened in the basement but and then the kid like blocked her but his name still showed up because i guess he decided he didn't want to send it anymore do you remember his name yeah Bottom line, he ended up having, my mom called his father, he ended up having to call me and apologize to me and my mom for saying that. And it was awkward on the phone, I was just I like, actually remember that. Fine. But I yeah. was in like 5th or 6th grade. He definitely learned his lesson, that's for sure. My mom right. was not playing games. <clears throat> Mine took place when I was in 7th grade. I feel like I was pretty wild in middle school, I didn't really have social anxiety at that point in my life, so... I would just do whatever. So this one time, me and my best friend at the time went trick-or-treating on Halloween with these two other girls that went to a different school and they're known for being like kind of crazier at that school. Not just like a, it was like the type of school where like people at our school would be like, they're wild. Everyone at my school said they were like prettier and like cooler and everyone wanted to be with them because mm -hmm. they weren't around the them all the time. Them. So anyways, I was friends with these girls and they had asked me and my best friend if we wanted to go trick-or-treating with them, saying they were gonna go to some like fancy neighborhood with a group of boys or something. Everyone's boy 
crazy at that age so i was like whatever let's do it and we're like walking around with this huge group of boys that i didn't know any of them like i had no idea who any of them were but the two girls that we were with were like obviously knew them and we're all over them and me and my best friend are just kind of like hanging around in the back anyways to make a long story short it gets to nighttime they all go into this boy's house and me and my best friend stay back because her mom is like calling her or something and something's happening so we end up not going into their house with them and then <laughs> i don't know why we didn't just go into the house but i think we were angry at them because they were like they like weren't talking to us like they were walking ahead of us with all these boys because they like obviously didn't care about us they just wanted attention from the boys we we're sitting on the sidewalk cold but we were like too scared to go into the house we were also mad at them so then <laughs> this is really dragging on i know i'm trying i'm so bad at telling stories yeah you are <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Did you get in trouble? Anyways, they leave the house, they walk off, they see us sitting on the sidewalk, but they walk off. So we're like, what the f do we do? Our phones like aren't working or something. So we go into a stranger's house, we knock on this random house, and this lady lets us in, and we go into her house and use her phone to call my friend's mom. Which like is so unsafe and could have, like so many bad things could have happened. Later my mom ended up finding out about it and she got mad at me because... I mm, really. was so much worse than you. We could have been kidnapped. I know, I wasn't bad. I'm like such a good girl. Went out with my friend. What, sorry, I don't even mean to say friend. I went out with Devora. Me and her got in lots of trouble together. Mm -hmm. Went out with her, we went to a, a somebody's house party. We drank. When we decided to go home, I always would tell my mom another mom was bringing me home. Well, I lied. I always got in trouble for lying. Probably like a solid four times got in like big trouble for lying. I said a mom was bringing me home. I guess my mom didn't believe me. So her boyfriend at the time waited on the porch to make sure it was a mom dropping me off. Meanwhile, it was a guy my age. He wasn't I drinking. I don't know that. He wasn't drinking at all. He never drank at parties, but like I trusted him to take me home. I knew what was up. I knew that my mom was gonna try to get me in trouble, right? So instead of pulling into my neighborhood, I make him stop oh on the God. side of a busy road like our neighborhood is like here and then there's like a main really busy road he stopped on the busy road me and Deborah get out of the car and run up the sidewalk are sprinting and all of a sudden i see my mom's boyfriend standing on the porch and i'm like Shh. and went inside my mom was like you smell like a brewery like <laughs> Deborah's going home you're in so much trouble and then i literally like went upstairs i was like crying at the time then i like went upstairs and i literally stayed up to like four in the morning in my room like on the phone with people and stuff like i didn't even like you were always on the phone with someone i know i had so many friends back then i don't anymore but i did <laughs> that was so fun though like we she was like a different boy to facetime every day of the week those were the times yeah i never had crazy experiences like that snuck out of another friend's house drank got in trouble for that because i wasn't supposed to leave her house i literally promised my mom i wouldn't leave her house because i had already got in trouble for lying like two other times that summer got caught again man i always got caught she would take my phone away and i would just lay in my room like staring I think at the I wall. ever like I, I never did bad things like that to get in trouble i think she was more so just scared like she wasn't really mad at me she was just like thought i was like insane do you guys think Brayden is a psycho brother or what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I told him last night I think he's a sociopath. Like a small one though, not like a not like a bad one. He also like does not care what people think about him at all, which worries me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you can sit there and tell him like you are a psychopath. You do this, you do that, and you're just like <laughs> <laughs> God, they're all the same questions and about fifty percent of them are are you single? Yes. I'll say it once and I won't say it again. I'm no longer in a relationship. And that's on period, love. Period ew, I just like gurgle. <laughs> Period. Period. And it's nothing bad either. Like sometimes things just don't work out the way you expected. But I don't want people to think like, oh my god, like somebody did something bad in that relationship. No, things don't work out sometimes, and that's fine. People change. Nothing stays the same. Oh my god, I have nothing to talk about. Yeah, my life is boring as hell. You can hit the woe better. How do you hit the woe? Okay, I'm me. I'm not to chew my own horn, but poop, poop. <laughs> I'm not a dancer. I can't dance. I try to do TikTok dances. <laughs> don't work. I do TikTok dances and TikTok deletes them. I'm too powerful. <laughs> if you don't already, go follow me on TikTok. Oh, I want to be TikTok famous so bad. I do not. Yeah, you do. I just love TikTok. Like, I could lay there for literally two hours straight. Nothing but TikTok. Period. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I have an air bubble in my throat. I think I have something to talk about. I <laughs> uh, hey, you. Ew, it looks like I'm wearing like some ugly shirt. I'm not. You are. <laughs> ew, I look like I work at a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wear all black anymore. I'm not wearing all black. If you ever worked at a restaurant and you had to wear all black, you know. I have a button up black top, and every time I put it on, I'm like, ew. am I about to go to Grill. I know I literally like I'm wearing like this shirt is cute. It's not like an ugly shirt It's like a little cropped up, but I look at it and I just think like hello welcome. How may I seat you? 
I'm gonna assist you. You work in customer service, I feel for you because I freaking hate it. People are so mean. Straight up. So mean and so weird. I had so many men say to me like when I would serve them, can I see your ID? Are you old enough to work here? People would ask Claudia if she was 12. Yeah, I'm 12 years old and I'm serving you your beer right now, sir. <laughs> Shut the f*** up. Yeah. Yeah. I hate your friends and they hate me too. <laughs> you and you and you. I'm playing the flute. The skin flute. <laughs> Lip. What? The lip flute. No, it's a skin flute. It's oh. <laughs> that means penis. <laughs> oh, that means penis. I'm full. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel when I don't want to eat it anymore. People are like, I'm going to get out of this burger. <laughs> This burger is not good. We don't like it. It just tastes like a mushroom. Brandon, ew, look at all the cheese coming out of it. Ew, gag me. <laughs> no, thank you. My favorite was the chicken. My favorite is the regular burger. I love me a good old flat. My favorite burger. the regular burger. Was this worth driving 30 minutes for? Maybe not. I don't think it That's was. a secret I'll never tell. <laughs> XOXO. No, you love me. XOXO. Pee pee poo poo hole. Do you get the oh. chocolate covered raspberries? Unleash the chocolate covered raspberries. And the cherries. Salmon rope, Tana Mojo, hit or miss. Hit! Wait, is that a good thing? I love Tana. Mm hmm. She's funny. Thoughts on negative self talk. Huh? Who's that? You dirty little bitch. <laughs> You're a little bitch. Teeth are crooked. I didn't know it was this big. <laughs> Skin isn't clear and it has huge. <laughs> Horse. No one's ever gonna love you because you're annoying and high maintenance. <laughs> Chocolate covered raspberries are my new obsession. I want to make sweet, sweet love to these. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Ew. Who can scream the highest? Don't touch me. <laughs> Don't make me blow my horn. <laughs> it's quite a space when she eats anything that isn't bread. <laughs> it tastes like absolutely nothing. Oh, they're actually cold. The most disgusting person you both have ever met. Ooh, that's a good one. Hygiene or the way they act? Either one. I haven't really met that many people with bad hygiene. Maybe in the school, but like... Oh, I have a good one. It's not like a person anybody would know, but when I was in high school, I had to sit next to this kid in class, and he smelled so rancid <laughs> all the time. Like a horrible B.O. that I would be gagging. Ooh, so many kids, so many boys in and I was, school. I was bad in that class. My teacher wouldn't let me move from the front, so eventually I literally started ignoring her, and I would just sit in the back with all the girls that were bad, girls who didn't care they would cuss all the time and i literally moved back there and sat with them they were like yeah you just stay with us back here you don't have to sit up there with them i just don't understand how people don't smell themselves if i stink i can smell it immediately it was really grossed out by we just talk about <laughs> people who don't brush their tongue nothing grosses me out this more before. nothing grosses me out more than people who don't brush their tongue brush your tongue please brush your tongue Brush your tongue. If you don't brush your tongue, it's disgusting. Like, there's no point in brushing your teeth. What is this? <laughs> this is a dental commercial. Brush your tongue. <laughs> Here's how you do it. <laughs> Put the toothbrush in your mouth. I own a tongue scraper. I literally do. Not to flex. <laughs> Not to flex on anybody or anything. This whole part can cut out of the video. But I have a metal tongue scraper. <laughs> it's stainless steel. <laughs> <laughs> Customize. <laughs> I mean, if you don't brush your tongue, it's up to you, dude. But I ain't gonna kiss it. <laughs> I'm so weird. I'm talking to my mouth. I've been talking to you for the food in my mouth this entire oh video. <laughs> What's your one biggest turnoff if you were in a really good relationship with someone, or like you really like someone? Everything about them is good. They're <laughs> they're really good. They have a great personality and everything. What's the one thing that would make you be like, sorry, bro, gotta go? Brown rotten feet. <laughs> I would say bad hygiene. I'm very sensitive to smells. Yeah, just bad hygiene in general because like people that like don't keep up with themselves. I cannot stand yeah. when I look at like a guy's feet and their toenails are as long as like aka Brandon. Like clipped nails and toenails is a big thing. Okay, I don't really care about that, but like if you do have okay, manicure nails. You look down and your boyfriend has nails, toenails that this long that could cut you. No, I'm not saying that I've <laughs> I think smell is the first thing because like when somebody smells good even if like you're not super attracted to them You're just like mm hmm when I meet somebody in person what attracts me is never their face It's always either the way they smell the way they're acting or if they're funny Yeah, somebody's personality can literally make them like ten times more attractive. Oh, somebody makes me laugh <clears throat> Like a slip and slide in my Oh my god Hey, can you just bleep that out? Just bleep out everything in this video so people don't know what we're saying If you can make me laugh, it's over <laughs> Just clearly. Ew, what are you There's chipping a, off your tooth? <laughs> There's a raspberry seed in my tooth. Yeah, they're mine too. My hair's too short for a pony. Put a ponytail. Let me shave this off. Go <laughs> get the razor. Better 
is your shroom burger? <laughs> Stop doing that. It's obnoxious. Does it scare you? No, it's just annoying. I want to hit you when you do it. It is if you're a throw up. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. Not we will thing. give this to Brandon because he eats everything. Okay, yeah, he'll probably like it. I mean, it's good if you like. He'll mushroom. like it. He'll be like. <laughs> he'll be like. Yeah, I'll eat it. Like, Ten hours later, he's eating it after it's been like rotten. <laughs> Something rot about that boy. <laughs> Something rotten to him with that boy. Are you a virgin? <laughs> <laughs> I am not a virgin. I'm actually a Capricorn. Get it like a Virgo. Last time you cried, uh, this morning on my way to school. <laughs> Last night, actually. In the car. <laughs> Did you? Yep. I was listening to sad music and, you know, gloomy day. Hit you right in your feels. It's not hard for me to cry. You know how they have an amygdala in your brain? <laughs> yeah. That's where it hit you right in your feels. Hit me right in my amygdala. <laughs> Somebody said, how to cope with an insecurity. I got a big ass nose. <laughs> Honestly, I hate my nose from the side. I'm not even going to turn to the side because I hate it from the side. It looks deformed. <laughs> and I kind of look like a witch. But, um, I don't know. You just have to learn to, like, not deal with care. It. Like, honestly, you don't, people always say, like, you have to learn to love it which like yeah you can try to you don't have to love it but like you're your worst critic no one else is gonna look at you and be like wow that's so horrible like you think it is so that keep and that in mind. you have to honestly just not care and you have honestly, to be like you have to be like oh i don't like the way i look in that or, like i don't like the way my nose looks in that or whatever but like who cares honestly. yeah because one time i posted a photo it was like for halloween and it was like a close-up flash photo of like my costume and it looked really good but i hated how my nose looked in it but i was like you know what? it's such a good picture i would post it anyway so i did and that's on period Period. I need to stop saying that. I want to answer like scandalous questions. You don't have anything scandalous to talk about. Weirdest thing to ever walk in on. Oh my god, I have one. I have one. What? Our bathroom used to not have a door. It had a curtain. <laughs> <laughs> Our house used to look very different than it does yeah. now. So it had a curtain. It, I don't know why, but like it just did. And me, Brandon, Kenny, obviously we shared the shower in the bathroom. Well, there was a curtain, but there was a door outside of the curtain. It's come confusing but basically there was a curtain and I thought that no one was in the bathroom I didn't hear any noise so, you know I just looked the curtain open all of a sudden Brandon is there butt naked head to toe drying himself off down the shower and I literally flew out of that bathroom so fast that I slammed into the wall and I got like my eyes were went, went blurry and Brandon was like get the it was horrible. And your reptiles gonna smell like cheeseburgers. Ew! <laughs> I said, where do y'all put Salem's litter box? <laughs> she doesn't have one. She's potty trained. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. What made you laugh? My tummy's gonna start hurting soon from this. And that's pretty much it. Um, now that we've consumed all these greasy burgers for you guys. They're actually not greasy. They're not that greasy, but like there is some grease on this box. You can see it. <laughs> And here is three stay number one. And here is three stay number two. You look like a Muppet. <laughs> you look like, um, what's his name? Elmo! What's that blue thing's name? He has like a red nose. This one! Grover! <laughs> Anybody remember this dude? Video done. Power down. In three. Oh, power down. down. In three, two, one. Oh, oh wait. We didn't press stop. Malfunction. <laughs> You wanna make TikToks? I wanna make TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> you need to hear how I get a girl I love when he talks dirty to me. Do you wanna make TikToks? Do you wanna make a TikTok? Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Whenever that may be. It might be a year from now because nursing school is ruining my life. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Peace out.